She's transformed the lives of millions of women in the third world, giving them back their sense of self-worth. A Nobel Peace Prize nominee and recipient of the Doug Hammarskjöld Medal, she has committed fully to her cause. For her tireless efforts in the last few decades, fighting for women's rights issues, her world is proud to announce Dr. Nolene Hazer, the Executive Secretary of the Economic and Social Commission for Asia and the Pacific, her world's Woman of the Year 2007. I have been very fortunate because I've been given so much. So, so for me, for my own personal achievement, is to be able to contribute to the world, uh, so that in a in a transformational way, um, that make a difference to to other people. Oh, I remember my first meeting with her when she joined ASCAP. My task was to go in and provide her with an overview of the work of the organization, and I had a chance to listen to her vision. And I think after that particular meeting. I was so inspired and motivated to commit myself to doing even more here at SCAP. As a former director of UNIFEM, Nolene's social development efforts have traversed continents from Rwanda to Afghanistan. From making strategic decisions at the top to working hands-on with women on the ground, driving their agendas forward, Nolene's work has truly embodied the human spirit. What is very clear is that w women want peace and therefore if they would like to be part of the solution, we, we need to build up the capacity of women to be part of that solution. Dr. Nolene Hazer was born in Singapore and from an early age she was taught to put others' needs above hers. The schooling system that I was exposed to uh, in Singapore helped a lot. I think that um, uh, I was brought up in a convent school, an environment that look at leadership as service, that look at uh, not so much um, what uh, that to look for the extraordinary thing but to do the ordinary things extraordinarily well. I've always been driven by um, a social justice agenda and, and that's uh, been my, my life uh, commitment. Dr. Hazer isn't just a passionate advocate of women's rights. She is also a dedicated mother to her twin daughters, Lillian and Pauline, as well as a good friend to all who know her. My mother's been a tremendous influence throughout my life. I think even since I was a child, she always approached uh, her life and uh, bringing up me and my sister with a lot of a lot of joy. I've been working in tsunami affected Aceh for the last three years and I found that my mother's work and watching her work at the United Nations has been probably the, the biggest influence in the way I do my own work as well. So I think she's been an incredible influence in my life. I consider her a treasure because even though her duties are on a global stage, she has always found the time to support me in my bad times and to celebrate with me in my good times. And her genuine concern and friendship doesn't just stop at her friends and family. It even extends to the staff she works with at the United Nations. The unique quality about Dr. Hazer is the fact that she makes every person she speaks to makes the person feel special. She's visionary. She's got all these qualities that make her really a wonderful person to work with. At the same time, she's also very strong. She also has the hard side that you need to be in a management position she's in to be able to make the tough decisions that need to be made sometimes. She's highly strategic and very clear about what she would like to achieve during her tenure. Dr. Hazer has commanded nothing but respect from everyone she's met along the way. But this still humble daughter of Singapore remains ever grateful for all the opportunities she's been given. The most important thing is to work from your heart and to, to work from your internal compass. And I think this is what I've also taught my, my daughters. And uh, nobody can guide you. I think at the end of the day, you have to guide yourself and you have to really, in order to transform your environment, you have to transform yourself.